There's about 47 miles of coastline in Palm Beach County alone. With the sunshine and the sand, there's also an issue affecting wildlife, one that groups are trying to tackle one bucket at a time. It's said you should take only memories, leave only footprints, but the tides turn up steps long forgotten until Diane Bueller and her team collect them. Winds are bringing it ashore every time the conveyor belt now of the amazing Gulf Stream, which was only supposed to be moving you know, nutrients and marine life, it's now the trash conveyor belt is bringing it right ashore. Trash flown by air and driven through currents that can look like food to animals. 2023 marks 10 years since Bueller founded Friends of Palm Beach. That's a nice now. Most of them are rusty now. The nonprofit can now pay employees, often clients from the Lord's Place and Vita Nova, who work in a synchronized pattern. 80%, if not 80 to 85% of what we collect is plastic. So it's a light, uh, most of it is a light form, and uh, there's a lot of it. Last year alone, her teams collected, weighed, and discarded more than 40,000 pounds. We have some pretty cool things. We get some historical stuff. We've gotten the rubber bales from a World War II ship that was sunk off of Brazil that made its way here. Um, we get toilets. We get toilet seats. It can be a mystery where some of it comes from. Other items more obvious, but just plain bizarre. I would think some of the treats we get from the parties that happen in Miami, <laughs> the party favors. Um, we get, you know, the drugs, we get ev everything um, under the sun. Taking so many steps with the hope that we can be more mindful of what we use and what we'll leave behind.